Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be progressing with our servo training today and we're going to be checking out a one speed positioning with buffer memory reset. Pretty much going to show you a, an application which is very commonly used quite a lot of places especially with the with the with the with the where you want to do our precision dosing whatever you want to do at least for my project what i'm going to be using this product this this specific uh, motor uh, is going to be for auger so auger basically filling the 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 product now i'm going to show you how you can really effectively get this quite fairly easy to work and with a super high accuracy so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today and also we're going to be checking out how the uh, variable uh, speed uh, uh, operation works in the drive so that's pretty much it is going to be for this video's agenda guys i'm not going to be repeating a lot of my stuff in the video so if you haven't seen the last this is going to be like a playlist so you know i'm trying to cover uh, video uh, videos by video video after video and try not to make it too long because i start noticing you guys you don't like long videos like them to be cut down so that's what I'm going to be trying to do now. So, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So all the manuals and every other related video that I can possibly think, I can't put all the videos, so do check out the playlist if you want to go through from start to where we start with all this down here and, and uh, all the setups and the service and things Yeah, so do definitely follow into the playlist. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Here we are. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be checking out the little project that I'm working on today. I'm going to bring you guys along, as I said already in the introduction. So we're going to just have a look at this this bit in here, the bit uh, six. As you can see, that's a position control complete. And every time the position is completed, it will uh, turn uh, this bit on. We're going to use that to create some program for it. And what we're going to do is you uh, remember from my last couple of videos we already have assigned and uh, moved the buffer memory g29 uh, 28 into k4 m200 and already if you look at my uh, comments in here that bit has been assigned that position control completion bit has been assigned to m206 so what we're going to do in here we're taking this m206 and we're creating a move b which is basically only once once the signal received the signal it pulses and that is about it and it's going to remove k0 into g0 and what is that g0 it's pretty much that g0 it stands for y-axis current address we're playing up with the b's and every the uh, y's very soon we're going to be adding uh, uh, more servos on our system so uh so yeah we're basically just gonna read the reset at this address another thing what we're gonna do so for so we don't have to mess around with too much of a numbers so fx yeah let's go into fx configurator uh online uh, oh yeah every time we want to do that we need to do that and then go online connection setup and you just need to say go in here so we can communicate so position parameters let's go into position parameters and first let's read and uh, yeah i might say take them all we're going to change we're going to change our a uh, magnification so uh, we can we are able to work with lots more uh, numbers come on it's taking his time there you go so if we go to position parameters in there we're going to change that one in here to 1000 so it basically magnifies the whole thing so we've done that so right mode yeah write that to our uh, server we don't need to do that uh, so it's just a position parameter yes please so now that we've done that so us are the way so just let's shut it down so uh yeah where were we i already forgot so the last thing what we're going to do in here is we're just going to create a a uh, a lamp in here as well so let's create a lamp let's grab that one and make it something pretty let's make this when it's on when b6 is received let's go to m did i just click something extra m206 at least we will see when that happens so and let's add some text in here let's say position 
complete uh, position, position complete. That sounds pretty good. So yeah, I believe that. Let's position that one more or less under it. Uh, yeah, fits perfectly in there, just like we wanted it. So here we go. So uh, two oh eight and two oh six. So this way we'll be able to a uh, um uh what are we able to uh, we'll be able to uh, see if uh, once the position is completely. So let's load this into our uh, right to our god. Uh, yeah, that's all he already knows what he needs to do. So let's just drop that in there. So, oh yeah, so uh, let's jump. Oh, as you can see down there, my green light is on already because it is at the position. Okay, that's fantastic. So let's put it down there and let's go onto our screen and let's have a look how that works. So before we get started, I quickly show you, as you can see down there, because we magnified it now, so my, as you remember, if I were to move the shaft, it'll be, it'll be going literally by now already about 70,000, it would be a 90,000, as you can see, it's a lot less now. So when I move things around, the encoder is registering and it, 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 it is a lot, lot less. So uh, if, you, if you don't need fine tuning, guys, and then and, and working with the fine uh, numbers, just magnify it to whatever whatever uh, uh, numbers you want to work with. It's just like as you can see, and then and then if you're like for the movements, if let's let's put ourselves in, let's put server on, and now look at look at the jog the way it jogs. Remember, jog works with one click, one movement. As you can see, my I'm sure you you can see it. I can move my server a little bit at a time, as you can see. Uh, I'm reversing, it's counting down, and so as you can see the shaft moving a little bit at a time. It's pretty cool. So uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we did with the magnification and things like that. So for remember, as I remember from the last video, for any uh, operation that we are trying to do, we need to make sure we select that operation. So we're going to be in, in first uh, one speed uh, positioning. We're going to be adding a lot more in the future as we progress with the videos. And as you selected in a, in a first uh, speed positioning, now it's going to be looking for that position. So you can see down there, I've got 5,000. We ain't going to work with 5,000 anymore, otherwise it's going to be here forever. Let's say, because now one full turn is 244. So let's say 100 will be doing fine. I think we, what we would have, should have done, we should have, we should have actually entered a, uh, another button in here where we can... Uh, where we can actually uh, cancel out this thing. So as you can see down there, if I click, as you can see, it's 100 there, and I tell him to go to 100, boom, it resets to zero. So every time I click start, as you can see, it moves 100. And he, as you can see, the position completion signal comes on, as remember from our little uh, program that we've written, he resets it back to zero, and every time you click that, it will do exactly 100 steps, whatever you want to call it, to that point. So let's add a little bit more. Let's say you, as I said, it's very really good for filling stations, for filling machineries and things like that, if you want to design it. So you would say, I want, I don't know, at, let's say 244. That's more or less R, a full a circle. Let's, let's turn this off. Let's move it like this. So see where that opens up. Uh, see, it would be nice to have a button in there. I'll tell you one thing. We're gonna, in the next video, we're going to add a button here so we can zero it. Remember, this is not zeroing. Zeroing, I've got special equipment coming soon, so you'll be able to see how we really do the mechanical zeroing with dogging and things like that. There's, there's all sorts of different options we can still do, because again, we'll be progressing quite a bit with this. It's just getting you started, getting you familiar. What can you do? So well, let's put the servo back on. We're not gonna be able to see that because uh, he's gonna go to uh, do, 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 positioning. So let's move this one. That's easy. So, we're almost there. It's not full, so it's probably about 2.55. No, it's not going to be 2.55. It'd be more now. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are getting the gist. As you can see, every time it reaches reaches the reaches the position, it sends the pulse into the into the buffer memory zero. Uh, pulse sends a sends a number K zero into buffer memory in a zero in in literally zero set. And then because it's a pulse down there, it only does it once. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty much how you would do single positioning with uh, if you would like to use that uh, uh, use the motor for. 
uh, types like dousing on or whatever you can come up with is basically giving you the chance of reduce position go back to zero and keep repeating every time you receive the signal to go forwards so another thing where we before we end up the video let's change that there's a thing called variable speed that variable speed is literally like ordinary motor you click on it and there you go the whole thing is running so change the speed let's say 1 million and it moves, moves at that speed it's pretty much like a normal standard inverter dryer would do variable speed you can change that in here and you can by the way in uh, the reason i'm working with the large numbers in here because you can edit all of this inside the screen in into into gt designer how which numbers get updated and then and, and, uh, what uh, values and uh, what, how many zeros goes before, before the dot how many zeros goes after the dot you, all this is editable, so uh, we might play that, play with that in, in, in the future. But at the moment, I'm working with the big numbers because I want you guys to see uh, the real numbers uh, how it is working. So yeah, and to stop is literally you go into the system and you come out of the system, into the system or our system, and that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude our one-speed positioning with a, a buffer memory reset plus a variable speed. Uh, process and giving you more or less understanding what the magnification of the, the pulses works remember there's a still another address where which are pulse address where that it does not change if you want to monitor that in some other windows you could do that guys do check out the manual there's so many different things you can read use and things like in the next video we're going to be looking at a uh, table operations and uh interrupt one speed position i think i think table operations is going to take us a, a full a video and inter uh, interrupt and uh a two speed position is going to take us another video so so uh, we don't uh, i haven't sat, i haven't done that so ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video and this help you out and it gets you it gives you some good ideas for the pro upcoming projects you could do with it so uh like i said i've got nice linear linear uh, systems coming soon to be able to show you actually in real life what can you do with it but that'll be uh, that is going to be in a future so on that ladies and gentlemen if you like the video please smash that like dude don't forget to like no that's not supposed to say that no, don't forget to like subscribe and if of course if you like what we're doing there definitely subscribe and other than that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in next video